As Fede said, I'm going to refer to these new objects in uh, Genexus 16. Uh, it's been available since Genexus um, 15.12. Well, let's start by defining a stencil. It's a new object that allows us and helps us uh, to do what Fede was saying, to create uh, design systems more easily. They help us to create, these are design objects that allow us to create user interfaces decoupled from the code, and uh, they favor the reuse and uh, everything that can be modified. So, as you can see, it's control new, and we've got the new object to create it from scratch. Now, in what cases am I going to use a stencil? Well, I thought that a very clear example is the app in this event um, uh, where we use this new object. And as you can see, we've got three screens here. On the left-hand side, uh, we've got the speakers, favorite speakers. The second one shows a full list of speakers. The third one shows a detail of one lecture in particular, one talk in particular, showing those speakers that are in charge of that lecture. What happens with these screens and some others is that we are keeping a visual language of how we show speakers. So we show them with a rounded face, with the name of the speaker in bold, in a certain font, with a certain margin separating from the name of the company they work for. I mean, there are certain things that we keep all along the app, and they are always the same. Now, wh how, how have we been doing that, where we would do it in uh, once in one of the panels, and that design was copied to the rest of the screens? Now, that brings about a problem. Now, what happens if I want to change the way um, speakers are seen? I don't want to a round face, uh, or but a round image, but a, a square image. I would have to go panel by panel to modify that. Now, the power of stencil is that I would create a stencil with that design. I would apply it in all the screens I want. And then those screens inherit that stencil. And once I modify the stencil, all the screens will be modified. So modifiability. It's a very much a benefit because if I have to modify screen by screen, I may forget or they may not be exactly the same. The margin may be a bit wider. So um, we're going to keep the visual um, um, language. We encapsulate that design knowledge. In a stencil, it's going to be much easier to share among various objects in my KB with other KBs, intra company, and with a community because that is decoupled, as I said, from the code. So it's far easier to share. I've got a question. Was this a, an equivalent of a web component? Well, yes. The, the, one of the largest differences is what I said at the end. This is completely decoupled from the code. And so, uh, this is a stencil object. This is a layout which is uh, very similar to a web panel we are used to working with, but it's easier because it's only got uh, what is related to design. There is no code here. It is um, design properties. So here we define the layout as to how we want to see a, 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 a speaker, how we load the variables, the data, well, what refers to codes is separated. So that's one of the largest differences, and it's far easier uh, to share because of those qualities. Is it valid for, for the web and for smart devices? Yes. Yes. So many times, just to tell you an anecdote, sometimes you're with a colleague and you say, could you share with me your panels. In fact, what he wants is the, is the design, and, uh, and you have to send everything. You have to send the code and so on. So this is uh, facilitating the sharing possibilities. So you have the stencil object. We've created a design, the one we want it to look like. It's going to be looking like that. And uh, to insert it in my layouts, on my layout, I have to go, I have to go to my web panel or SD panel. I have to search, uh, uh, in my stencil toolbox, the stencil I want to insert. And so I simply insert it to the layout. And that's, uh, um, what, what, um, um, 
I can program how to manage that behavior. Can that stencil be created on a sketch design? Yes, we're going to see this. We're going to see that in a minute. So, this would be the toolbox to insert stencils. As you can see, we have a screenshot to be able to identify what we are adding more easily to our layout, on our uh, layout. And so we would insert it simply. Insert it on this panel or on any panel we want to use it. And uh, I'd simply modify the stencil later on and that change would impact everything. Stencils also help us with versions. Now what happens if we are, talk if we are working with design people and they give us new ideas, or perhaps your client says, I would like uh, speakers to be seen in this other way. So we may have different versions, how to show that visual language, how to show a speaker. You see at the, at the top, at the bottom, at, on the right, on the left, and, uh, you know. So stencils can uh, help us to create different stencils with each one of these representations, and uh, to make this exchange in our panels, uh, well, you have to go back to your first panel with the stencil inserted on, we uh, secondary button compatible stencils. I'll be shown the toolbox and with the stencils that are compatible with my scheme. And here you see everything that I've just shown you. The only thing I do here is to choose any and uh, uh, press swap in that changes the stencil. When when you are updating, do you have to go panel by panel? You showed that there are three different versions of the same stencil. And my question is, if you want to, uh, if you have applied everything on the web panel using version one, when you want to go to version three, do you have to do it panel by panel uh, to update it? Uh, yes. There is no way, uh, perhaps Juan can help us. If we are using V1, it's going to be used by all, but then if you want to change to V3, uh, um, well, you have to do it by one, by one by one, but I like what you said, so we're going to add it, yes. All right, let's go on. This is a way to create stencils. Um, in this talk, um, we were looking as to how to create a stencil from scratch. And I'll start creating my new stencil with an empty layout. There's a way of creating a stencil with a uh, knowledge base. I've already got the, the design and... Uh, I want to reuse it. So what we can do, what we should do is do the layout uh, version that I want to encapsulate, secondary button, stencil, and automatically you'll get this dialog to customize the name and uh, store it and save it. And, and so what it does, it decouples it from the code and uh, saves it as a stencil to be used in the screens I showed you earlier. The same thing what happens the other way around. What happens if I'm working with a stencil and uh, I want to unwrap it. I, I want to cut the umbilical cord um, from my layout. So what I've got to do is do the, uh, I have to un unwrap the stencil. And what happens, what happens automatically is that there is no longer a connection with the stencil. If I uh, modify the stencil, this screen is not going to be modified, but I'm going to keep all the design properties and I'll be able to work freely with those controls completely decoupled from the stencil. And what you were asking um, just now, the, the, the next way to create stencils that's coming soon is on the basis of the extensions uh, sent by designers. For instance, a sketch. Here on the right-hand side of the screen, you can see the sketch file with its uh, screens and designs and navigation. And uh, what I'm going to do from Genexus, I'm going to import uh, that file. So what Genexus does is it creates SDD panels, it creates stencils and navigations between those panels. So I'll be able to execute 
uh, with a raw design without code. What uh, I would have to do is to modify the behavior. I would bring in the design and create the stencils. Someone asked whether this is for SD and web. Well, uh, stencils have layouts, and in general, although the presentation of a web page and an SD is not the same. The concept line behind what we want to show is the same. I'd like to show stickers in one way, in the web or SD, uh, but we've got a layout to keep that hierarchy of stencils. So there is a SD layout or a web layout that we can modify. So to sum up, Stencils define a standard, they give us consistency, they help us uh, create design systems, they increase the modificability, modifiability, they also uh, make it easy to share designs, and they give us extreme flexibility. Federico is going to be referring to user control.